Okay, so I'm calling the Finance Committee meeting of April 19th, 2022 to order at 5.06 p.m. Um, we do have a quorum here, but we have one remote participant, um, Beth Brown. So we will do all of our votes by roll call vote. Um, hi. <laughs> So, who is very kindly protecting us from her germs. So, <laughs> probably brought to her by your children. Um, and there's not a quorum of the select board, so we don't need to call a select board meeting to order. Nope. So, let's um, start with, I guess, um, do we have minutes from last week? Did Jim send us minutes? I believe he did. I think he Jesus, emailed them. Made oh, yeah, because I reviewed them and commented on them. Okay. okay, so do we have a motion for okay. the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the April. It must be 12th. April 12th. Do we have a second? Okay. All right, any discussion? No. Uh, we'll do a roll call vote. All those in favor? Allison Vandevelden? Aye. Skip Olmstead? I'm going to stay. I haven't done it yet. Okay, John Peresky. Aye. Julie Chalfin, aye. Beth Brown? Aye. All right, that passes two, three, four, zero, one. I was only asked to say, I thought the whole minute was Okay. Well, I did read them. Okay, um, so I think we're ready for budget line items. Um, where should we start? Well, we can start with the accountant salary. Okay. What numbers? Oh, here it is. That is 135-5110. Do we have a motion? Motion to recommend the count salary as it is. 135-5110. Yes, 78 for my second. Second. All right. Any discussion? Um. So this represents a contract that um, I've entered into with the select board. It's an increase of two hours a week. So it's 32 hours a week um, with a stipend for not taking town insurance included in here. Was, was that part of the contract the stipend? Pardon? Was yes. that part of the contract stipend? Yes. yes. And the finance unit they're changing the job description too. The job yes. description description now just reflects what I've been doing. It says town accountant slash budget director. Yes. Okay. yes. Better reflects the role that he's in. Yeah. yeah. All right. Any discussion or questions? All right, do a roll call vote. Allison Vandeveld. Aye. Skip Olmstead. Aye. John Bresky. Aye. Julie Chalfin. Aye. Beth Brown. Aye. All right, that's unanimous. Five zero zero. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you moved it. Skip second. All right, the next one is the general highway payroll. If you remember right, I brought this one to you last time, but the number at the bottom had been hard coded, so it did not reflect what uh, the changes that had been made. So this reflects um, an increase in pay for Kevin Scarborough and for our assistant superintendent, Chris Miller, and for our administrative assistant, according to the compensation plan. Uh, it's 422-5110. Sorry, probably should allow you to move that first. Do you have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. So it's 539,444 hours, right? Correct. And so that's level funding uh, each of the highway guys that would be in the union, um, the highway union, because the contract is not settled with them yet. 
Now, if in fact the contract is settled before town meeting, we'll make that adjustment. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is not, then they will be level funded and that's what their pay will be on July 1. It'll be exactly what it is for fiscal 22. So there's no stipend? Uh... No change. Okay. Yep, no Why change stipend, unless, unless, unless they sign a contract. A there's no coal work in the coal job description. Correct. <clears throat> well, I don't know if there's a COLA. There's, there's no COLA. Um, if you're in the middle of contract negotiations, you apparently um, are, are to remain at the same rate until the contract negotiations are finished. Mm -hmm. That's not the way it works with teachers. They will, if they are in right. step 10, they'll go to step 11. Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's, I guess, different. Um, but not COLA, correct? Uh, because there isn't, a, the COLA was already built into the step. Oh. So, yeah, that really is a COLA. Going from step 11 to step 11 would be a call. If they're making $10,000 yep. in step 10, in step 10 is $11,000, and step 11 is $12,000. So they're going to go to Did you have your hand up? Right. We know that. We know that. Oh. oh, no, I can't track what's going on, but yes, it's Yeah, so um, did you get a copy of that? Yeah, don't let, don't let. You have a big one. <laughs> I know. The fancy one. Yeah. yeah. So you do all the I feel like I'm kind of echoing. Yeah. Much better. Sure. So Casey came in and said that it's a completely different schedule and that that doesn't apply to this case. That oh, okay, that's, that's I think what that's what she said. To. Okay, all right. Yes, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> um, any discussion or questions? So there's still is there still a line item in the warrant? The, yes. There items is for right for now. There is for right now, but if in fact, like I said, if they if the contract is settled, this just goes away on July one, and we will have to vote that at a special town meeting in the fall if they end up settling a contract, right? I believe so. Yeah. Does their pay go up at the time the contract is settled, or does it stay the same until town meeting? Does anybody know? I think it has to be voted retroactively to. Oh. July 1st, if they settle between town our uh, annual town meeting and when we would hold, uh, or between July 1st and when we would hold the special town meeting, Julie. Okay. Because it has to be approved. That first year of funding has to be approved by town meeting. So if it's settled between now and next Monday, how are we going to handle that? Uh, it, it will be, we probably should. Um, schedule a meeting for be count before town meeting so that if we need to revote that we, we can that'd be my suggestion yeah okay and, and, and then when because the budget is printed in the handout at town meeting would there be then be like a motion on the floor to change the uh good question uh I was hoping that if there was going to be a change we'd know that before we needed to print the guides but they're getting too close. <laughs> They're getting too close, Brenda. We need to be able to print the guide so we have it yes. by the end of the week. Right. That's what I'm working on while I'm reviewing all of your votes from last week so I have it all correct. It's gonna get ugly. Hmm? It'll get ugly. <laughs> we'll figure it out, but I think. Okay. Yep. Any, I guess we can just vote this. Any discussion on this item? So what do we, how much do we still have left in the, if we put it here for budget purposes? 
Uh, well, that's why I, I reprinted the revenue in detail for you. Um, it shows that we still have in free cash, if that's what you're referring to, 175,200 is what's left in free cash. No, we have we had placed someplace $100,000. Mm-hmm. It's down to 15,000. Right, it's now, it's now at 15. Oh, so I guess the uh, highway department should have gotten in here and got there to settle first before they, uh, everybody else got the big end, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's just, that's just a buffer. That's, that's generous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any other discussion? Okay. Um, you have a question? No. No. Good. Any other? Okay. Um, we'll call the vote. Allison Vandevelder. Aye. Skip Olmsted. Aye. John Pareski. Aye. Julie Chalfin. Aye. Beth Brown. Aye. Okay, that's unanimous. Five zero zero. I guess that goes without saying. All right. What's next? Okay. So the rest of everything that you have there is all the sewer or wastewater treatment plant fund. And um, the top page is kind of a overall summary. Um, so I don't know how you wanna go about this. If you wanna look at each, each individual page, we could look at the salaries first, if you want. Okay. Um, So we still have one six of, oh, it, it, um, does somebody need to move this first or do we move the whole thing as a whole or what, what do you, how do you want to do that? Uh, if we're talking about them individually, why don't we move them individually? Okay. We have a motion for sewer payroll. We'll make a motion to approve sewer payroll 431,040. Okay. Do we have a second? second. So, so the top top line item is the one sixth of Kevin's salary because Kevin is the DPW director oversees everything. So uh, historically, one sixth of his salary has always been allocated to the wastewater treatment plant instead of uh, putting it into the highway payroll. Um, then we have uh, hired a chief um, operator and this reflects the contract amount for his pay and he's getting a stipend for not taking town insurance also. So those are your next two figures. And then the current uh, operator that we have uh, at the plant, this reflects where he would land on the new compensation plan according to uh, the designation that we made last year um, with our consultant. And then uh, we, we decided to put in there, um, he's getting a stipend right now for the extra workload. And so we've left that in there for six months of the year, um, not knowing if we're gonna need it or not, but having it in there just in case, because our goal of course is to hire um, two more, two more, yeah, two more operators, uh, certified operators before, before uh, long. <laughs> And so you'll see those two are next um, at the grade and step one on, on the compensation plan. Um, and then there's overtime. It's always been 416 hours and it's always been figured at the um, overtime rate of the chief operator. So that's in here as well. Um, and then various benefits. Um, we were looking at health insurance today and decided that if we hired additional operators and they took insurance, we were uh, sorely underfunded. So we brought that up to what we thought was a more reasonable figure and um, changed the Medicare insurance also accordingly. So that brought us up to the 431,000. I have had DPC look at this. Uh, Trevor looked over it with, with us this morning as well. And um, all are in agreement that this seems to be a reasonable budget. And the revenues should cover with the with the sewer rates that we have right now. We had you know DPC look at that, make sure that we're in good shape. Which right, looks like uh, we are. I mean, we planned for the adding of the people, so that's why we kind of went with the rate we did last year. So. We, we don't have a lot to spare no. with the current rate, so you might want to consider still bringing it up a little bit, but 
um, you know, maybe. Some, right, but maybe. at the next, the next one. Yeah. Because yeah. we'll have to. In account, the fall. Right, because we'll have to account for the, um, hopefully the additional work that we're going to do too. Right. Question. Looking at the expected revenues. Mm -hmm. That's the same number of users. We've got more users. So. Right. Um, according to uh, DPC, our sorry. Okay. Um, according to DPC, with the current um, uh, number of people on the system, and at the current rate, we would bring in one million four hundred and seventy-seven thousand. So it's not a, not a, not a very big push, <laughs> but still um, doable. So you said there are more users, or you're asking for users? I asked if there were more. Well, there, the the um, the people moving in at Snowberry Circle have been increasing that. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there's okay. anybody else that's it's, been no, added. No, that's about it. Yeah. Really, it's just the ones added there. Some from last year, some from this year. On this summary sheet one, where it says use of retained earnings, Yep. That's we're budgeting to retain those earnings, or we're we're using those we're to budgeting offset to budget. use certified retained earnings to help us fund this budget. Yeah. Okay. So that's counting as a revenue on this. That's right. correct. Okay. Yep. So I do have a question. <clears throat> what's what's Kevin's gross salary? I don't know. One six times fifteen. It'd be fifteen one seventy six plus seventy five eight eighty one. So a little over ninety thousand dollars. And one of the people reporting to him is making one hundred and ten thousand yep. dollars. Yes. Um, so I guess some, you know where my vote is going to be on this budget. There is some talk about reorganizing. Yeah. Uh, whether that happens anytime real soon or not, we won't know that, but. Uh, maybe talking about reorganizing that whole uh, department. I don't know that just the fact that a subordinate earns more than a supervisor is necessarily inherently bad. I'm thinking about, I mean, what, whatever. I mean, I don't know much about chief operators, what, but in terms of certifications or, you know, there could be specific skill sets. Um, there's a lot of different circumstances in which it would be fine. So I don't think by nature of a supervisor earning less than a subordinate, I would disagree with that. So the former chief operator was making, or is making this year, $74,000 this year? Well, he's making a whole lot more somewhere else. Uh, I think his pay would have gone up uh, a considerable amount, but certainly not not anywhere close to what our new operator, chief operator, would be paying. So what do you think is the odd product? He's been hired. To me. <laughs> That's oh. correct. The contract has been signed. He he actually, uh, I understand, he's going to be coming on part time between now and May sixteenth, and on May sixteenth he starts full time. Yeah. Do we have any of his other supervisors who might be making less than he is next year? Um, Say that again. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else who works for Kevin who's going to make more than uh, Kevin? Uh, or are you asking no, it the no, other way around? It, it may be Kevin's supervisor who will make less than 111. Mm -hmm. What I'm, I'm just curious about the, the just sort of the concept of it. I'm thinking, and granted, I have a different perspective because I work in healthcare, which is ridiculous, but I supervise people who make, you know, significantly more than I do. And it's, we do different jobs. So I, that's why that's why I'm like I'm kind of bumping on this a little bit because I'm like I don't have on principle I have no problem with it if they're doing the same job then there's an equity issue but mm -hmm. it sounds like it's the equity issue should be resolved in a contract negotiation if they both have contracts or if they're both you know if it's a union I mean not these people both have contracts right they're not union. correct yeah right well, but it is it is a very specialized position. 
Mm -hmm. And it was very difficult to hire for it. And Kevin can't do it. No, right. He doesn't have the skills yeah. or the training or the testing. I mean, I supervise physicians who are a lot more than I do. That feels like the same sort of thing. Similar. Makes sense. <clears throat> Sounds to me like the chief operator is going to have more knowledge than Kevin. Oh, yeah. So in regards oh, and, to the and, and did before. Treatment plan, yes. Then how can Kevin supervise? Well, well he could. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I, 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 this one for me is like a little close to home. Like I said, I supervise mm -hmm. a surgeon and I supervise a physician. Kevin is a manager of a department. So he's going to be supervising operations. He's not the person who's going to be an expert in whatever this guy's an expert in. Um, I, as a CEO of a health center, cannot be an expert in, in you know, primary care, oral surgery, behavioral health. Like I can't be a psychologist and a, you know, all those things like, but management is its own thing. So Kevin is a department head. He has some expertise. He has knowledge for sure. He should hopefully know what he doesn't know. And then it sounds like this guy is an expert in a specific area, but isn't necessarily knowledgeable about the operations of the whole department. You look dubious, but I don't have a problem with it. Um, just, I don't know, it seems incongruent to me that so the if, supervisor is going to have less knowledge than some, of than would. the person they're supervising. I mean, it happens so all like, the time. Yeah, every, every yeah. job. I mean, like, Casey's not, every, not an but. accountant, right? But she, but she has a, a higher position than Brenda, who is like a specialty you know, knowledge base. In right. That sort of Allie's thing. right. I think, I think you need to think of management and supervising as its own skill set, because the idea that, I mean, this is why, like, the idea that the supervisor should make more than everybody else is, in the department. it just doesn't make any sense to me. And if it used to, it's outdated, because now we supervise complex things that are, you know, where you need a specialist. So if you, I'm just thinking through this, if we had, if the sewer plant were mismanaged and they dumped effluent directly into the river because mm -hmm. they hosed up how to run the thing or they didn't run their light thingy and kill yep. the bugs or whatever, then the sewer, this person would yes, be in trouble. That's correct. He if they the overspent their budget and they bought themselves a car and drove around on it <laughs> yeah. and Kevin let them do that, then yes. Kevin would be in trouble. Yeah. Absolutely. It's yeah. a good analogy. Right? So yeah. it's, yeah, and there's hours management and, and yeah, they have different jobs. Oh, is this based on hours or is this a, an exempt position? It's, it's not, not, not exempt. exempt. So he's getting paid on that line for 2,088 hours a year. And then down below, there will be some overtime also that he'll be getting paid for. How much overtime does Kevin get? None. That's an exempt, exempt. position. Yes. yes. He's exempt like me. Mm -hmm. Should look so at changing 50, that. 3330 an hour puts him above everybody that's on the class comp line. Yep. Yes. Do we need to talk about anything? <laughs> I don't know. I think <laughs> this budget makes much. sense. I, the things in here that are have gone up are contract negotiations we don't have control over. I wish we had the ability to hire people for less, but that job is oh, it's definitely you specialization. Can, you can yeah. write your ticket, and which is obvious. Right? I mean, you can't find anybody Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire, Mass. It's really hard. I mean, we can't. We've been trying for ten months to find just a laborer, or not a laborer, but an operator. Now we're going to hopefully get somebody to be able to train into that. Just, just, just nobody there. <clears throat> Really tough. Okay. Anybody have any further discussion on this? No. So it's been moved and seconded for sewer payroll at 
but $431,040. We'll roll call vote. Allison Landon. One more Alden. question. Oh, yeah. Who put this together? Kevin? No, I didn't. Or you? With Casey's help, with Trevor's help. Was there any input from people down at the wastewater treatment plant? The, the only one you have at the wastewater treatment plant is a certified operator. Or no. Kevin. And mm. Kevin really hasn't been available up until That's today. True. So right. it's, it was kind of hard. We, we did the best we could. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Go ahead, Casey. We did work with the engineering company as well throughout the process, evaluating the job descriptions, completing the interview process. Um, we've worked with them consistency, consistently since the chief operator retired. So we aren't working in a vacuum, John. They have. They've been helping out a ton. Yeah. You know, DPC has been man in the place and helping with DEP requirements and all. And DPC is are the experts in terms of the engineering piece and what's what is necessary for compliance. We're also working with the town of Amherst. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Nope. Any questions? All right. So it has been moved and seconded for sewer payroll. We'll do a roll call vote. Allison Vanderhoven? Aye. Skip Olmstead? No. John Presky? I don't see any reason not to vote yes, so yes. <laughs> Julie Chalpin? Aye. Beth Brown? Aye. All right. That passes 410. Let's look at sewer expense. Your motion. Which one is this? Sorry. Sewer expense. <clears throat> Anybody? You can make a motion to recommend sewer expense. It looks like seven hundred fifty-eight thousand two hundred dollars. Second. So this is one of the budgets that Kevin didn't get around to um, putting together for us. And so Chris Miller and Casey and I sat down, we looked at history, we um, looked at anticipated uh, expenses and put this budget together. Um, today, I added on the line where it says safety and compliance kind of down towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. I added that at $15,000 to uh, cover what we might still be paying Amherst for if we don't have four chief op or four, excuse me, four operators um, at the plant on July 1st. So we're paying Amherst for their help? Yes. Yeah. If, how, how much, how does it work? It's, it? it's based on what each employee makes and then they add it. Um, uh, if they need so many hours, costs. right? They add administrative costs. So if we need like three hours of work for something, then you know Gary lines that up. They come over, they do the work. Amherst sends us a bill. We, we so pay we're paying. It. It's by the hour. It is. Is the when's the new plant expected to come online? Is it during this fiscal year or probably maybe right at the end? Yeah, I think because March 23rd, but and we're hoping that they then start right away on. I mean, I think the um, headworks will start, you know, right at the end of, of March is what we're hoping. And then they'll they'll begin the aeration tank work if, if we can secure it all, at least some of it. And then the um, but I think the UV will be online right at the end of March next year, okay. which I think will be great. Because I'm hoping that I noticed the sludge is down a little bit too, and I'm hoping that that'll. Um, so we're hoping that a cleaner stream will will just be less maintenance overall, less less work, um, less costly disposal of sludge, and all in all, that's the whole whole plan. Um, is there a move on the, the total on the sewer expense does not agree with the recap. 
That's because you make a on, on the recap, um, the indirect costs needed to be broken out uh, for purposes of the vote. So I'll use this recap to uh, put together the table for um, for town meeting. That's that sixty nine thousand. That the bottom of the sewer expense. That last line is sixty nine thousand. Right. You can see that on the summary. So the summary is it's got the um, sewer expense less the sixty nine thousand. So the six hundred eighty nine thousand two hundred plus the sixty nine thousand equals the seven fifty eight two hundred. Yeah. So it's it's the item that says expenses plus indirect costs on the summary adds up to this sewer expense budget. That I'm having trouble no, following that. Doesn't that doesn't I understand. We're the close. I understand it's a sixty-nine thousand, but why isn't if it's a cost, a direct expense? If it's an expense, shouldn't it's, it be, shouldn't it be in the rate calculation? It's not. So the indirect costs are not an expense. What they are is they're a transfer of funds from the enterprise fund into the general fund. So I have to account for it differently than you would your normal expenses. It's, it's a VOR thing. But you add the 69,000 to the 689,200 and that is your goal. 689, I might be, I might have an old sheet. Your I do have an old sheet. No wonder. Okay. okay. Where's yep. your Where's your current one? You have one that you just got, right? I thought that was it, but it didn't have a date on it. It's just maybe I ditched the wrong one. Okay. It's a separate line item. Yeah. Other questions on this? Yes, that's good. So it's been moved and seconded for sewer expense at 758,200. Roll call vote. Allison Vandervelden. Aye. Skip Olmstead. Aye. John Presky. Aye. Julie Chalfin. Aye. <laughs> Beth Brown. Aye. <laughs> Wait for the darn Julie person to say something. <laughs> All right, that passes 500. Zero, zero. Let's do sewer debt expense. Next page. Do a motion? I can uh, make a motion to recommend the sewer debt service at, it looks $585,000. Once I have the correct version. <laughs> I'll second that. Special. So this represents a $400,000 pay down on um, debt. And so 100,000 is in your general fund that you voted um, a couple weeks ago. And so 300,000 is here. And then the interest is 75% of what I expect interest to be on a $17 million loan, which is what we will be borrowing um, pretty close to what we'll be borrowing at the, at, in June. That rate, that rate was a rate that um, our bond council, our financial advisor had given me as a, as a suggested um, rate to put in. Any discussion? And there's, there's a little bit of play here. We don't really know what the actual figure is gonna be. Right. Yeah. Um, do you know how much is left in retained earnings after this use of retained it's, earnings? It's about a million. I couldn't give you the exact figure, but uh, it was a million three something that was certified. And there's some level that's mandated by our loan or something like that? By USDA. I, I don't know that DPC was able to put their hands on that for me, but um, 
somewhere less than a million. I want to say it was in the 800,000s that we needed to keep, but uh, when we went back to try to find the information, we couldn't find that specifically. So not sure that USDA has really addressed it or if we yeah, thought they exactly. had. Okay. Yeah. Any discussion or questions? No. To a roll call vote, Allison Mandelbaum. Aye. Skip Olmstead. Aye. John Bresky. Aye. Julie Chalvin. Aye. Beth Brown. Aye. All right, that passes five zero zero. That's an old one. So. Oh, I see this comes out to zero. So the expected revenues, and this all adds up to the expected revenues with the use of retained earnings. Right. So if once we start paying off the budget, I mean, off the debt, the big debt, um, will the rates probably go up again? Yeah. I would think they would need to. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's why... Um, the suggestion was was made to um, pay down some of the debt this year because we won't have any debt to pay down with USDA. So why not pay down some of the debt that we have to take on ourselves that USDA will not? So uh, it just it made good sense since we're going to be paying on that on that USDA on both USDA loans for a while. There you go. <coughs> So is that all the, that is all that needed to be uh, covered with the budget tonight. Um, the line item, the warrant article line item for contract settlement, we had voted that at 35, right? We didn't vote. Oh, we didn't vote that? I don't think we did, did we? Did we vote that last? It's changed. Uh, if we did vote, it's changed. It's changed anyway. That's right. Um, I don't to... remember us voting that. I don't that. think we voted it, to tell you the truth. I think it went down. Yeah. Okay. We so want a motion. Well, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know that it's necessary because if the contract is settled before the meeting uh, Monday night, we'll vote it Monday night before the meeting. If it's not settled, then they're just going to have to wait till a call, call town meeting. So we can vote this item before the meeting on Monday night. night. Okay. So which one of, what are we talking about here? Just the, we're talking we're, about if the highway settles their contract. Yeah. So if they settle the contract before town meeting on Monday night, then we will vote a different a different budget. We'll vote the budget with their new pay rates in it. So this line item will go away. It won't exist. <clears throat> so I think this line item ought to be zero. Right? Well, except that it's, we're it's, expecting it's, that highway payroll to, to go up from it, where it is. Yeah, so it was our, just it was just a matter of being yeah, reflective of where we might be if we did if we did sign a contract to know that we had enough money in the budget for everything. That's the only reason it's here. It's just to just to show right, you that we, we can cover everything. I think we're you should that. Go ahead, Casey. I think you should leave it. The reason I think you should leave it is you've already appropriated the money. So it's in the budget. You still have to go back to town meeting and have them essentially ratify the contract. But you could then move that money if you needed to in the fall. Say they don't ratify. Or say the, the union doesn't settle until after July 1st. The money's still there. We would have to take it back to a vote at a special. Um, the money but the money I just, there, some part of me says maybe we should just keep it there. Just in case. I, well, but the, but it doesn't. It isn't tied to a warrant article, and it's not tied to the omnibus budget. So right it's, now, it see, that's why I wanted you to tie it to the omnibus budget because I thought if we left it as a budget item, we could use it if we needed to. But if I did that, I would have to put it in their budget, and or or we'd have to create a whole new line item appropriation for it. I, it just didn't make sense to me. If Sorry. We're gonna leave it there at this point in time. I think it would make sense to move it into the budget. Which we'll end up voting. You mean into the highway department budget? Yeah, it's not going to be adequate, but at least the money's there. I think we should zero it out. 
We would zero it out. It'll I think go, so. If we, we zero it out, it. then free cash will be a little higher. And then in the fall, we'll vote it out of free cash. There's well, no way. Certified. Huh? Once it's certified. Oh, okay. Yeah, once well, it's certified. Well, certified before we can vote. That's right. the point. Right. Uh, and if we don't set it aside now, then we can't. Right. Aside now, then we don't have to worry about certifying. That's the point. We're talking about fifteen thousand dollars. I think that's right. what's in there at the moment. But not right. a huge amount of money in this budget. Okay, and we're pretty sure it's not going to be adequate to cover. But at least it's it's something. No, I it no, should be more than enough to cover more. We we think it's going to be more than enough. But I'd rather have it be more than enough than not. Yeah. Not enough. Doesn't that get to be kind of an awkward situation where we? If you want a town meeting it, it, in the fall, we'll take five thousand X out of it. Yes. Uh, it's but we're covering our tails. So you but want me to put, put it, it in as a separate line item yep. for contract settlement underneath their payroll? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think I would add it as a, a line that says potential contract settlement. Allowance for so contract. Ra settlement. Rather than a warrant article, we're going to add it to the highway. Payroll. Well, we can't add it as a warrant article. We don't have anything. I mean, we that's could, really but that's, that's why we I don't have a funding source. You got to have the funding source somewhere in the budget, Allie. Well, I, the only reason I said it is because that's where it's currently listed. So I'm just trying right. to be clear about what the change is. We're taking it from down in the ward the article down we're, we're in the ward we're article put it back up in the, in the, omnibus, it in the budget. omnibus budget and and it can't be can it go in the highway payroll budget i thought yes. that was the whole thing everybody sure, was right. upset Apparently about before. not i don't think it's a great idea <sighs> yeah well it can go in it can go in as an allowance not really you you would want it as a separate line item yeah a separate budget line item like yeah 22 51 11 or something instead of that like, right, like exactly. yeah i mean why don't you do that brenda i i can i don't like it but i will she's gonna reach across the 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 office and smack me on the back of the head no i'd like to smack them on the back of the head that's what i'd like to <laughs> i would have liked for it to be settled too <laughs> And it will, yeah, will I all think, be moved, I think so. Quite I'm, I'm hoping. This isn't, this We're hoping. Right then we now. need to revote. We do. Well, we need budget. to vote a new line. So you can vote the 15000 as allowance for contract settlement, but, and I will move it into the omnibus budget. And will it, it will have a, its own account number? I guess so, yes. Okay. Should we wait until Monday to do that? That way we don't have to create a nice, new account number. It would be nice number. to get the whole thing put in there so that the town meeting, we don't have to discuss it basically. That we're that we're I'm gonna call it playing games, but we're putting this money in there so that we cover potential, just get it done. And okay. and then if somebody asks, you can say, look, we have contract it's not settled. This is how much money we're setting aside. So it's not unforeseen. So we can't add it to the reserve fund and vote it later, right? I would say mm. town meeting still has to approve the appropriation for the first year of the contract. I wouldn't sit, call it unforeseen because we know it'll settle at some point. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what I was thinking. So town meeting still has to approve it or ratify it, then why would we even vote it as a line item in the omnibus budget? Just so that it's I, I'm confused. Council has suggested that we have the money set aside regardless of when the vote happens. Okay. In case the votes before free cash gets settled. Was that the argument they're doing today? Yeah, that's right. Generally. But would we ever have a special town meeting before free cash is certified? Well, highly unlikely. But yeah, I agree. It, it just it's it's there. We don't have to worry about it. We just get it. I don't know whether town meeting would have to move it from one account to the next. I'm not sure who could tell us that. So do you want to pick a number now for a line item number? I, uh, well, this is why I was thinking, I mean, if you, if you just make them up, I guess that's fine. But I'm thinking on Monday, we either need to vote 
like we can we do this we do we always do a vote before town meeting anyway right and we usually vote the last minute thing or so like in this case we would either vote the actual proper payroll budget or we would vote this piece because if we vote it now we have to remember to change it later to vote again right so if the payroll comes up we have to just do both I don't know. One thing to vote on before town meeting, it's either this extra money in a budget or it's the correct payroll. But if, they don't, but if they don't settle, we won't have to vote. That's true. We won't have to vote if they don't settle. But if they do settle, we have to vote and we have to remove. No, it'd just be a revision to, to yeah. as I see it, it'd just be a revision to what we already voted. Except it's two separate budgets. It's just two budgets instead of one budget. So it's well, we want to. Right. Yeah. On the budget. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's our budget. Thank you. This is great. We don't have, I don't think we have to do that. Yeah, I'm just saying, I think it's arbitrary if we vote now or later because we still have to check in on Monday. Yep. But I don't mind voting. I'll support it if we vote it tonight. And I also think it's great once we get, yes. Yeah, yeah, if the 15000 is amount. more than the contract settles for, mm -hmm. then they can do one of those, the ones that are like the reserve fund when we're not, where you just shift budgets, they can do one yes. of those later in the year. Correct. That doesn't require anything to be voted. So if we vote the 15000 it's a separate line item, we can just leave it be and not have to do anything in town meeting, whether it settles or not, right? And it's, it's there, it's available for, I don't know what the procedure is, but it can be moved from one line item to another one. Within the same account. Well, right. Within 422 5110. 5111. We could move yeah. money between. Do an inter office transfer of that because yeah. select board does that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Okay. Well, there's only certain times a year you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't solve our problem that way. Well, you can. Functionally, it may be better to throw it in that account. I don't know. I'm torn, Brenda. I don't know what the right answer is. I can't call Kate right now either. <laughs> Well, she's enjoying a vacation we can we can vote how about if the if the committee votes the dollar amount and after we talk to kate we can figure out where it belongs whether it belongs on a on a separate line item yeah. or right. uh, whether it belongs in the general highway payroll yeah. say that again i said i said we can vote the dollar amount of the fifteen thousand tonight and then after you and I talk to Kate, we can figure out whether it belongs in a separate line item or whether it belongs in, in the general highway payroll. It's a separate line saying, item where? As a separate, one. separate appropriation. Yeah, I, so it, it, as a warrant item. Well, I no, know, as a separate as a, budget. As an omnibus budget item. Like a own budget 422 sheet. something I, or other. 5101. This feels silly. We're going to have an answer on Monday, right? Like we're going to know where it needs to go. Why don't we just vote it when we know where it needs to go? Uh, because there are limitations of what we do at town meeting. All right. This would be before town meeting. Right. Well, but we've already told the town meeting has a warrant sitting in front of us. Well, we know, it's, we know it's not a warrant. We know it's on the omnibus. And we, if Kevin we, has his hand up. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. Hello. Oh, hey, just gonna, I just, thank you. Um, I just got a real quick question. Would that go underneath um, General Highway or would that actually go underneath sewer because that's completely separate? We don't, we don't oh, we're, we're talking about. No, it's um, the highway contract. Highway. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the other. Sorry about that. Never mind. <laughs> I guess I'm just confused about where. And I know I'm not articulating myself well, but no, seriously. But like, where does it like 
we go through the finance. I mean, and I don't care. Like my level of like passion about this is at about a two out of 10. I like, I don't think this is an important issue to me, but. Boy, I hate to save you when it's a 10 out of a 10. <laughs> I know, but, but I'm so out. hung up on it because I'm finding it co like contradictory to what the committee, how the committee normally functions. And I think that's like what's breaking my brain right now <laughs> is we normally like, right. We like, we do, we have the, we have the department budgets, we have the line items. If anything deviates from that, this committee does not want to vote it. So like now we've got $15,000 we want to just like slap somewhere in the omnibus budget. 15, right? One five. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 one five. It might, it might be more like a four if well, it was five oh, but, <laughs> but we have $15,000 and we just want to like throw in there and we don't know where we're going to put it yet, but we want to vote. It seems just- But we know exactly what it's for. We do. Oh, the, the but we problem need to, as I see is you're going to be sitting with town meeting looking at a sheet like this, yeah. and then we're going to say to town meeting, yeah. uh, we want to increase this number from 539 to 540 or 554. Uh -huh. But we'll, we could explain it at that point. If I mean, you're, are you saying if it's done. The other one in there, we don't have to give any explanation. They see it. No, it. we're going to have to give an explanation. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to have to explain it anyway. Well, but it's well, what it's for. What kind of slush fund are we talking about here? <laughs> If, so if, if it's a completely if it's a completely separate line item and we run over on highway salaries, which is probably going to happen towards the end of the year anyway, the select board can move from the contract line item into the highway payroll. It'd be fine. I, like I said, I don't like it, but it'd be fine if that's the way we want to do it. I just like to be consistent and explicit. So I have a very selfish reason for wanting it to be solved now, which is when we get to our budget overview discussion with that write-up, if it changes on Monday, we're going to have to change that too. <laughs> right. It's, it's, we don't it's, have, I mean, it's not something that's voted, but well, it won't accurately re reflect no, what's and, in the And thing. not only that, but if, if you look at the omnibus budget, language you can't increase any line item you can only decrease right correct so uh it makes sense so we to should have something in. in there if we're going to do it so let's do it now which would you prefer would you like it in the uh, the 5110 10 or 5111 well actually 51. I, 5150 is what i'm going 5150. to 5150 yeah. sounds but, good but um i think Kate is going to say we need to have this separate because it shouldn't be included in the payroll budget. Kate, don't you, or Casey, don't you think? I think she will too. Yeah. That's that's what yeah. we heard last year. I, like, I, like I, I can't use 5111. So sorry, 5150. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, what number is it going to be? So it's going to be 422 5150. And it's and it's a high, it's uh, what are we calling it? It's going to be collective bargaining agreement. Allowance for contract settlement. Mm -hmm. I like that allowance. We're we're covering. We're not saying this is what we think it's going to be. We're just we're saying, saying this this will cover. It. Hopefully, cover and it. is that do we does the need the word highway department in there? I mean, it's clearly highway um, highway, right? highway contract settlement. Okay, um, and that's fifteen thousand. I'm not so sure that's a smart idea. <laughs> just say allowance. Put the word highway in there. Oh, I see. Just collective bargaining settlements. Okay. Okay. So you call in the account. I mean, if we don't want to call it a highway, does it not be, is it not a 422? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. That's a really good question, Allie. It's <laughs> still in the highway it's still spot. In just, just it has it. to be there. Just do it. Beth is going to kill us all by virtual head slaps. <laughs> Reaching overkill. Yeah. You're right. This is all getting silly. Yes, <laughs> um, I'll make a motion to recommend budget 422-5150, which is the allowance for collective bargaining settlement at fifteen thousand dollars. Second. Second. <laughs> all right. Any further discussion? <laughs> I'm gonna write yep, because we never agree, so. No. All right. We'll have a roll call vote. Allison Vanderbilt. Aye. Skip Olmstead. Aye. John Pereski. Aye. Julie Chalpin. Aye. Beth Brown. Aye. <laughs> you had to think about it for a minute. Huh? Um, so then, so that's going to so be that's unanimous. 
So that gets the second one. Okay. I need a torch. <laughs> I know there's a lot of thinking to have to do. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's everything on the budget. Um, the revenue. The revenue detail still matches the budget because that fifteen thousand was already in yeah. there. Right? It's just going to move up to the omnibus instead of down in the warrant yeah. articles. Um, so back to the, does everybody still have their town warrant? Um, Did we get a new one last week? No, we got a new one last week. Do you want me to reprint anything, Julie? Um, has it changed from? So what we have left to vote is, I don't think I have um, it because oh, I- You would. might not. Let me print a couple copies up. I just have the draft I one from the fifth. So we have article eight, nine, 10. Still to vote. The omnibus budget nine is a new number. And then the, the sewer, you just voted the sewer tonight. So it's just a matter of me putting the figures into it. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for the email. So actually, while we're waiting for it to show up, um, We had the one article last time that we voted whatever wording I came up with, which is something like uh, no significant finance committee sees no significant financial impact of this item or something. And we voted that on the one where we changed the flag. Yes, um, yes, the petition article, which was number, what was it, 22? The last something? one, 23. Um, the or is it the one with the speed limit? Do we want the same wording on the speed limit one? Yes. I kind of think so, yeah. This is exactly what okay. He's got it. Do you want me to print the one that doesn't draft on it? No, it's all right. It hasn't changed, right? No, it just some of the numbers are in there. The capital projects, the numbers are in there, right? Yeah. They are sitting there with the two. Yes, they are. So spread, I just turn it into a table. So it is in there. Yeah. Um, do you want me to actually print it? Yeah, I'd like a copy if it's that way you can see the numbers. I, only yeah, I guess I would too. Thanks. That was the table I did that time. So give me a uh, Article four. So on Article twenty three, we voted the finance committee vote. I think it's written in the one that we have. What's yes, say so the finance three? committee sees no significant financial impact to the map. This version. Okay, I, I'm going to move that we put the same wording on the speed limit article, which is number what? 21. 21. We've already voted it, but we recommended it. We did, but I'd like to change our vote. What? Huh? To be consistent. <laughs> so. You don't have to second it. Nobody can not second it, and then it'll go away. That was a motion. Um, I'll second that motion. That darn, now we have to second. So, <laughs> so, so now, what happens if we vote it down? What's that mean? I think we it just means it. then it stays where it is. So my motion was that we change the recommendation to we see no financial impact. Well, that may be true. <laughs> but do we recommend it? I'm not voting. Motion. It essentially removes our, we have no opinion again. I think it makes sense. I think it's important for um, 
I think it's important for the finance committee to be really clear at town meeting about which items have a financial impact and are therefore, you know, that we have chosen to look at and make a recommendation for versus which ones don't. Because I'm remembering some items at town meetings of, you know, recent years where we've had issues that really don't have a financial impact, but the finance committee may have a voice that's then inappropriate if there's no financial impact. That is our job, to make well, recommendations or yeah. not make recommendations. Right. Well, to make recommendations, yeah. they can be, we recommend, we do not recommend, well, we, can say we this. have no recommendations. And we need to review to make sure that if there's a financial impact, we get a, to make a recommendation. Well, um, that's well, why we review well, all of them. says everything. Yeah. That's what the law says we'll review everything. Yeah. Yeah. But and I think if it doesn't make recommendations. But I think if it doesn't have a financial impact, I think I would go so far as to say it's inappropriate for the finance committee to to act like it does because it, it doesn't matter. What matters Just to me. It, it, we do have an it's obligation to make a recommendation. Oh. So on this flag one. Does it say to make a recommendation or to review? Well, no, to make a recommendation. That's what it says. It says we'll review. We'll review it. Well, our recommendation would be that this doesn't have a financial impact. But we reviewed it to no. determine that. We, we don't want we, someone we, else telling we us. We recommend that. that the town vote to approve the article or not. Yes or no? So, how did you feel about the flag one? Were you against that one? I mean, you don't have to say. No, I would, <laughs> I would recommend that the town not approve it. Not approve it. So you were, if you were opposed that, to that Yes, one. that would be my recommendation. That would be the way I would vote. Um, yeah. I'm looking for the state bylaw. I have it here somewhere. I can't find it. I'm, I'm not arguing that we, that we don't review them. And I think we See, need I'm to not, say that we review them. I, yeah, I disagree with not recommending I think the finance committee has a responsibility for looking at the financial health of the town. And I think that we should review all of the articles. I think we should review all of the articles. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think that we have the prerogative of looking at an article and saying, whatever, they're going to plant pink flowers. I don't care. Right, there's no financial, there's no financial impact of it. So, I may not like pink flowers and not want them. So you can but that has, but I don't think the finance committee should have a position on that if there's not. So what's wrong with saying the finance committee has reviewed this article and we have no recommendation? Nothing. I that's think what that's this, what the that's, that's, that's what we saying. said about the flag thing. That's what I whether would, we're personally in favor of or not. We see no sign. Well, that, and I don't. I would have no problem. And I, but I think we got to word it that way too. But it's basically worded. we have three ways that we would address an article. We recommend it. We recommend it now vote for it. We don't recommend it. We're not arguing. And we have no recommendation. We agree. We're not arguing. We're, we're in violent agreements. <laughs> so, <laughs> so should we word this, reword this? Fincom sees no significant financial impact to the town and has no recommendation or something? Is that well, what you would like prefer? We have no recommendation. And the finance committee makes no recommendation. Yeah. Like there, there makes, makes, oh, no like makes no recommendation. You are? And we've argued more about this article than we've argued about any other article. <laughs> Which article are we talking about now? What's that? Who's 23? The speed limit. Well, we were start. Well, it's also the know, same. We want the same verbiage on any of them. Well, I'm still thinking the same. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's too late to change it. Yeah, we're going to change twenty-three. In that case, I would say I think it's clear what the intention is, and it's already printed. At, I'd like it to be recommends, doesn't recommend, or no financial impact. I think that's pretty clear. But what if the, what if the article is that? No financial impact, and you wanted to make a recommendation. I, I think you could, but but I think in which why case would we, we would recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. But by saying this has no financial impact, aren't we giving the town the impression that unless it has a financial impact, we're not making any recommendations? That's true. We can fix it for next year, but it's already printed. It's already printed. So. 
I mean, I don't disagree. Can you get your typewriter, I'll fix it. <laughs> gonna do it on everyone. <laughs> Sorry, uh, each and every white out. We need a white out. I know. Where's that white out? Um, you could ask Dan. So here's a here's a thought. Maybe you ask Dan to stand to up to and talk about if you have a comment. Ask him if you can stand up for a comment to clarify that if you wanted to at town meeting. So when we were meeting last week, you said that if we made further recommendations this week, that you would be able to put them in the one that was in the guide. Out. Yes, that's what I was, I was watching. And I started the guide, I had to finish last week. So that sheet that I just gave you shows the detail of the community preservation projects. It took me a while to do it, so I didn't have time to get it into the form. But it will be inside. So if you okay. guys had to take it a position on it, I just wanted you to be able to see what the numbers and questions are. Yeah. Um, I'm okay. Finishing up the so we could make the motion system. right now, and I can include that in the and include it in the guide. We yes. have any of the budget or any of the articles we do. Yeah. Okay. But the ones we all right. So we have a motion on the table, and I'm going to clarify the motion on Article. Oh gosh. What? Twenty one. Twenty one on article 21 to change recommended by the finance committee to finance committee sees no significant financial impact to the town and makes no recommendation. I don't know, there'd be more revenues from us. Yeah, right. More You're expense right. for, right. Si for science. Yeah, significant. significant. No significant ones. financial impact. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 50 cents here, 50 cents there. Pretty soon you're talking about dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody seconded this already, right? I seconded it. <laughs> yes. Move the question. Is there any further discussion? Um, I just have one question, which yes. is that we we would be just inconsistent with our language between Article 21 and 23 if we approve this. I don't care. It's fine. It's just less professional. Casey, can you add and makes no recommendation to Article 23 if you look at it? So I can add makes no recommendation to Article 23. <laughs> right, I'm moving my own question. Is that what was in Skip old said. What? Yes, no? Which one? On number We're talking about 21. On 21. Okay. Speed limits. I want speed limits for town. <laughs> You're welcome to do that. <laughs> you, already, you already put that in. Yeah, you already two. recommended that it was recommended by the finance committee. On so, so now you you're going to stand up in town meeting yes. and say it's changed. Well, we haven't voted it yet, so that's what we're voting. The motion on the table is to change. So you're the saying we can't change it since it's already posted. In the yeah, you can't change Correct. The so what I would have to do is is strike okay. through and I withdraw the motion, or, or we would have to. Well, stand we have up. to. A town meeting and say we made a mistake and we would like to change it. Oh, you don't have to say you made a mistake, you reconsidered the article at this meeting. That's what you're doing. You're reconsidering your recommendation on an article. Because that's what you're we're going to do with eight. What did we not vote? Eight, nine, and ten or something? Oh, wait, Beth has a motion. I mean, a comment. Go, <laughs> go, Beth, go. <laughs> it's not a motion, um, it's a comment. I think um, since one, because it's already printed and standing up and talking about a town meeting would draw a lot of attention about the whole language and everything that I, um, my, my desire would be to just like drop this for this year, um, to work on get the language, how we want it. I also think the speed limit one is like, uh, like if it was just printed, it wouldn't be a big deal, but if we make a big deal, I think that there are costs and financial things with the speed limit because I do think there's revenue and there could be costs. And I think in town people might, you know, this might become like a big thing when it doesn't need to be. It already is. Look it with us. Draw the motion. I withdraw my second. Okay. All right. Sitting here listening to this going we'll on. Have to find I feel like this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Excuse me. All right. So let's see. We voted one, we voted two, we voted three. Oh, I guess this one sex. Two, we said eight, nine, and ten. Three, four, five is the six, seven, eight. We need a motion for article eight. That's the omnibus. Eight, nine, and ten. There's no amount. <clears throat> Will there be an amount in it? Yes. That it's will be, be verbally. 
Well, it'll be it'll be probably printed. So what I'll do is I will what we've done in the past. We just happen to have time to do it last year. Take and print the entire spreadsheet, like the article numbers and and the titles and then the cost, the recommended amount. Put that into the article for the online Right. So they'll be able to see a total, and then the motion gets read according to the funding sources for the total of the program. Doesn't it do it line by line and it gives it people a chance to say old? Yeah, mm -hmm. Jan raised up that. Yeah. Right, which is how I know that that fifteen thousand will will have a discussion. The what's that? The fifteen thousand. You kept saying fifty. 15, 50, I know I'm in a hurry. Okay. I cut off the mic. So is that amount gonna be this 16 million, 698, 930 plus 15, or wait, what number am I yep. looking at? Eight. Yeah, it should be. Should we vote that figure or, or do we not vote this? We vote this one on. Monday. I'm with you on that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so Perhaps it would be useful to not complicate things about the 15,000 to put a lump amount of the, I hate to say this out loud, what is anticipated in the town's submittal for collective bargaining agreement settlement into the budget as a single number. That way you don't have a separate account to vote. You're talking about putting it into the higher rate table. But put it as a lump. I was thinking about that the other day. That's Just put I the town's position. The town's position. Put the town's is, position. Can we do that? I have talked to council about that more than once because we've been grappling with this for weeks. So <laughs> what, what? Say that, what does that do? What sure is it that what it does is it appropriates the amount that the town um, would prefer to settle at, not the ask from the bargaining unit. So we just need to revote. If we had to revote something, we would have to take the contract approval back to town meeting at a special anyway. If there were additional funds, then we could allocate for it then. But it does solve the problem about where to put it and we utilize an estimate that the town developed i'm not understanding what problem this is solving i'm not no, no. can you back up and explain it to me it solves the placement of where the money is and how much the money is because the town has a so the town has a proposal this the bargaining unit has a proposal and right now they don't meet yeah, the town's proposal is X. Yeah, my suggestion is put X in the budget. But then won't we risk being underfunded because of you know, possibly? But since you have to go back to town meeting anyway, you can fix your funding source then. As you guys were talking, I was thinking yeah. and recalling conversations with council. How is that very much different from just approving? Because then be it doesn't. Because it's a little I would be a little concerned about unfair. Wow. Well, this is a method we could use to put that funding source in there. Otherwise, the other options invite a lot more criticism and comment. What about what about zeroing out the highway but the highway you can zero it out together and, and put that figure it. plus the whatever, 15,000, whatever we want for. Right now you've got it zeroed for any of the contract employees. So bargaining unit mean, employees are zero. But I mean, you're just zero out the whole budget, put the entire sum in, in an alternative budget that's a collective bargaining agreement 
that settlement. I mean, I, I just because the settlement's going to be so they're not we're not settling for 22. We're settling 23 through 24 and 25. Okay. So we don't have a retroactive situation. If we were to put in the amount of money that is what the town's proposal was um, for the entire contract, that gets us partially to what the funding cost would be. Um, Could you just not do anything? And you can. You just and then just fund. You're just going to end fall? up paying retro. You, you could. The yeah, idea is the is well, you have a more accurate budget and what you anticipate in some ways. It's it's six of one, half a it, dozen of the other. It's not because it, they're going to have to bring it to town meeting anyway to ratify it, and that's when they pony up the money in the fall. Anyway. We got to wait to pay them anyways. I mean, we just have to do. I mean, no, if we don't, fall, but that's the thing. If we leave fall, a certain amount in, but by the fall, always, you're you still going to have to reduce the amount. So if we put a hundred thousand dollars in and it turns out to be forty-eight thousand, then you vote to reduce it from a hundred thousand to forty-eight. What you couldn't do is vote to go from a hundred to one hundred and twenty. But you, but you, but you could at special town meetings say, "Hey, we settled this budget. We need forty thousand dollars to pay from June first to blah blah blah." Well, yeah, it, it's. I don't know what the difference. You have is. an estimated cost of what it could be based on our position, is what I'm saying, not the bargaining unit's position. My concern is. I, I mean, as far as I'm aware. <clears throat> I mean, unless, like, unless like it's up to you, I, I'm like trying to think it through. Casey, my concern at this point in time is that you must have made a statement of what it is and what we're doing. And we're. No, I made a statement about the town's position. The town's position. And well, they know that, but the point is they're saying it's in the budget. That's an unfair labor practice. I agree with I that. take the risk. Trying to help you think it through. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Whatever we put is going to be wrong in our budget. So if you zero it completely, they don't get anything until they settle and go to town meeting and it gets approved. Right. There's always that choice. Well, I mean, that's how we built this budget for that's the way it's months. going to work, anyways. We need to go to town before you can pay anything, we're going to need to vote it at town meeting. And so, fine, then we just sit with the zero. Everybody stays copacetic, and that's all there is to it. I'm just wondering if we're going to get the email on Friday. <laughs> what are you saying? Are you worried we're going to get Casey? I think that's the we're hoping, we're hoping that they settle. Yeah, and, and but we done. can't guarantee we what don't that's going to look like. For sure. Right, but if they don't, what are you worried about? I mean, with what we've done, because we already sort of like solved this and put it away. So, what is the, right. what are you worried about with the current solution? What's the problem with the current solution? So it make it sound like we're willing to pay them fifteen thousand dollars. Right, which we're not. We're not really. We're willing. We're to not. Pay them we're whatever. we're giving an estimated amount of what could be settled. Anything that isn't used goes what? back to rolls back to free cash. Well, no, I won't say that. Yeah. So then, would you change the dollar amount? Yeah, you can do it that way. I'm just thinking ease of ease of because if it's already there. So, but if it's if we put the amount in four dollars and there we go, it ends up being more than that. We can't increase. No, you can't. You can't. That's why well, we, we always, always transfer funds later in the year to cover when your equipment runs short right. because you really you don't have to cover an appropriation until your negative. Unless it's a bargaining agreement. They have to cover the first year's appropriation. Oh. That's what town meeting has to approve. I mean, these meetings are public record too. So it's not like, it's not like anybody participating in these bargaining, collective bargaining agreements doesn't already know the entire thought process of all of us. Well. Like what difference does it make? I don't know. Maybe it makes a difference. But. It's trying to figure out, you know, how to how to be prepared to settle the contract was really the purpose because we asked that question multiple times. 
um, because we're trying to be fair. Yeah. Your comment notwithstanding, we are trying to be fair. Um, so, you know, just for ease of not having to move money, though, is what I was thinking, because I know how much of a pain in the butt it is when she has to move money. Because she's working within a database system, so I was also thinking about that. So I don't care how it gets done. I frankly take no no. I'm Switzerland on this. Y'all can decide. Switching money from one line only to another line. What's that? What are the rules about switching money from one line only to another line? But it's only May and June, May, June, and July. You can transfer between accounts. Right. I'm and sorry. Transfer and between appropriations. And it used to be that there were limits on that, There's or no you had to do it within departments if you could. You know that kind of thing. None of that anymore. There's, there's no restriction in that regard. The only place you cannot transfer money is between school and municipal. Right. So fifteen thousand out of five hundred thirty-nine thousand is a pretty small percentage. So you're probably going to be safe until May with 539. Depend, yeah, depending on what snow and ice is. Yeah. Can you put it anywhere? Like, can we put it in? Well, we can't because it's not unexpected, right? Or not unforeseen. We just don't know how much. We know it's going to happen. We just don't know what that's going to look like. And we do know that town meeting does have to approve the contract, the first year of funding for the contract. School committees operate in a different manner, so it doesn't work the way it has to work for us. Actually, even if there's a problem, it gives the reserve fund. You have the town meeting take the money out of the reserve fund and put it somewhere. 7,000, 10,000. We settled on 15 because we don't know what that's going to be. We're still yeah. talking about two different two different options sort of simultaneously. I think that's why I've been confused because you you proposed basically a different highway payroll budget than the one that we have rather than the collective bargaining allowance. But now we're talking about moving the collective bargaining allowance into an existing line item, right? So those are like two different yeah. options we're discussing simultaneously. So what if we put it in general highway expense? I'm just thinking about or why don't we i mean we can put it in why don't we just put it in payroll anything. just that's not the only estimate anything we have in, this, in our budget exactly. for pay. Everything. we don't know how much overtime there'll be we don't know and, and that would make i'm, I'm in favor of making it. life easier on brenda if we can't can. so <laughs> Enough is enough, huh? <laughs> Out the door did before we need it. We realize it. Overview. I did. It looks Do you great. have any feedback on it? Um, no, I was surprised that education was at sixty three percent. I was thinking it was more like seventy something percent, but that's fascinating. Yes. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. I thought it was you know it was more than that, but I assume but, but we did move the expense of, of um well, the school their has, health. The school is accessing different funds in case. Yeah. So their budgets haven't gone up as much as the town budgets have gone up. Right. Because of that. Uh, We're very limited. But we did put their benefits in under the school, I think. Is that what you said? I think that's what I see in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Not all of them. Most of yeah, them. Was retirement and health for the ones that you put under there? 59. And so there's one that's split out, which is yeah. insurance. That's health and insurance. And then there's another one that I think is pension. Is that the number you gave yes. me? 275,000? That's what's in there. Um, Those two. And then we looked at, there's a couple others, but the dollar values are small enough that, I mean, it changes like by 0.1%. Yeah, it's not, 
right. enough to worry about. You really don't um, know. We, we don't know. We don't know what that that was for that one. And I'm a little uncomfortable with the wild guess yeah. aspect of it. I'd rather have no, some than really we yeah. have some mm -hmm. substantiation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are the two big ones for me that weren't really readily available. Um, I really liked it. I was reading through it. I thought it was yeah, really helpful. It's great. My question it's for you so nice. is, does the finance committee want it included in the guide or do you want yes. to present it? Okay. Yeah, I think it's I think So it's if you great. can send that to me electronically, I'll throw it in the guide. I will just yeah, we'll just take that and we'll, we'll figure out what we're doing with the contact. And so one thing I would say is the way this used to happen, then I think Skip can affirm this. The finance committee report used to be at the beginning of the guide as part of the reports to officers. You've reorganized your guide now. So it's different than it was when I was here. Um, we also did it separately. There were a couple of times. It was there were a couple of times you did. But, it, and if you want it separately, we can do that too. I don't care. I just, it's, if I can incorporate it, I can find a way to incorporate it before the real document starts, um, because I do think it's a good way for people to read through the work that the finance committee's done. Absolutely, and it's just great data. And, yeah, and it's very well put together and just explains everything we've been working on all year and you've been working on. It's so nice <clears throat> to have it concise. <laughs> you set the bar really high. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm looking at my explanations, going, oh. I would like to use Julie's words. <laughs> so, so, no, I think it's uh, very well. Do we have anything we have to vote tonight before we call for adjournment? We need to yeah, figure out. We still out need to do the fifteen thousand business and figure out where it's going. Yeah, That's been good. reopened. I and make then a motion. I'm a, I'll make a motion on the fifteen thousand that we include it in general highway payroll count four twenty two five one one zero. That's a separate line. Yeah. About, in that how, account, yes. How about if we reduce it to ten thousand? Okay. All right. So the the motion. John's making a motion. Yeah. Um. To. Uh, move. Take. Take account four twenty two five one one zero. Okay. Increase it by ten thousand dollars. De decrease it to ten thousand. You know what? It what goes increase, increase it by, by 10, ten? Increase the highway salary line item by ten thousand dollars over what we voted tonight. So we're but what we're working. We're moving. So we already voted on this new budget, which was four twenty two five one five zero. So we'll probably 15, need another 000. vote that gets rid of that. Okay. So we're not we're not voting to absorb Oops. that into the. To decrease it and absorb, we need to do it in order. What what order are we doing? Right. Do we? Okay. I make a motion to rescind the prior vote, putting the fifteen thousand as a separate line item in the omnibus budget. I will second that. And adding ten thousand to the general highway payroll account five twenty two five one one zero. Can we do this in two motions or is this one one action? One motion. One more, okay, so we're gonna do rescind that vote and add. Let's let's do let's do the rescinding separately. I I'm never volunteer. Like just do something and get it. <laughs> you decide and then let me write it down. Let the chair decide. Let's rescind. Let's just rescind. Let's okay. rescind the vote okay. on the fifteen thousand for four twenty two fifty one fifty. Do okay. So who makes the motion? John made the motion. Julie already seconded it. I seconded what figured out where it was before he finished. Uh, Beth, are you able discussion? to hear and follow along from there? Okay. This You're with us. It. All right. Okay, good. Anybody want to talk about this? No. No. Okay. Allison Vanderbilt and I. Skip Olmstead. Hi. John Bress. Hi. Julie Chalfin. I. Beth Brown. Hi. All right. Cool. So now you want another motion? motion. Make a motion that we change the general highway payroll budget line item count four twenty two five one one zero to add ten thousand dollars to it. And 
where does that go? Is that doesn't matter? It goes, it goes right here. We've changed this, but it says 539 to 549, 444. So it doesn't, we only ever vote on the bottom line. Right. Yeah. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. But Brenda decided. Yeah, you don't vote on the individual items. You just vote yeah. The so what's the new total? Can, or can somebody 549, 444. And then Brenda can just put it wherever she darn well pleases with right. that. I, you want to tell? No, I'm not. Well, it'll, it'll be on that line item. We're just going to no, just increase it 10,000 something. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And then I'm going to eliminate the, um, the, the nebulous number that was on the bottom back page. Right. No. Good. So do we have a second on this motion to change? I'll second the, that. Okay. Any discussion? No. All those in, oh, I can't do that. Allison, aye. 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 Kresge, Julie Chop and I, Beth Brown. Aye. Aye, all right, that's unanimous. Okay, warrant articles. Let's go back to the warrant articles. So we now have article eight, which is the omnibus budget that we have now voted on everything on. Um, So our total is now sixteen million seven hundred eight thousand nine hundred thirty for that omnibus. Sixteen seven seven oh eight nine nine thirty. And we're not voting that. We're not. No, we vote the line items. You vote the line items, and that means that someplace along the way, if we made a mistake, if you catch it between now and then it was not a problem. So, oh, do, do we make a recommendation on the warrant article? Yes, we have which is the bottom line, right? That warrant article is that pushing you. <laughs> the omnibus budget as opposed to. Okay, I'm, I'll make a motion that the finance committee recommend Article Eight. Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Allison Bernabone? Aye. Skip Olmstead. John Bresky? Aye. Hila Chalpin? Aye. Beth Brown? All right. That aye. Unanimous 500. Article 9. Statement? Collective. One second. Yes. Um, you're going to have to change this at 5,000 back to free cash. Correct. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Whoever mm -hmm. it appears. Yep. yep. Okay. All right, collective bargaining agreements. Um, now we can't really do this yet, right? Because this does this include the one that's not done? Well, you could say you tentatively settled with the police department. Right now, the motion only reads with the police department. Uh oh. There's a notation in the info session language that says highway has not been settled. We reached tentative agreement with the And that's what you voted. So, so we've already voted this one. You wrote you voted the police budget, correct? You voted the police budget. So so basically you can certainly do it on the floor if you want to. You don't have to. I'm not comfortable. I just want to know what why. Or you could just say the, the finance committee uh, recommends the police. Collective bargaining. Collective bargaining. Right. Go back to language. That's not wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> as long as I'm, everybody has read it. <laughs> I'm thinking that Dan will be your recommendation. He may ask you if you have it. He will. Yeah. 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 And then you can vote for it. Yeah. And you can tell him that you recommend. We abstain. Okay. So this actually doesn't say we approve the collective bargaining agreements. We only it only says that we will vote to appropriate the sums of money right. sufficient to fund. Good point. Them. Yeah. Right. So Good we point. don't care what they say. We just right. care what the dollar value. Right. Because it was. Yeah. 
Because it was negotiated and we need to fund it, so we better fund it. And I, I'm not sure the, the is the town meeting actually approve the language? The language? No. no. Just the funding. Just the fund. That's it. <clears throat> Just approving the fund. I make a motion to recommend Article Nine. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Second. Which is the appropriation? Yes. Any uh, discussion? Now, like I said, the language is just for approval. But the although although you you voted an amount that you could be used. To, yeah. The public service employees union hasn't happened though. Right. So how do we vote it? Because right now they're not in a motion to. So you could say just police, or you could leave it alone. So I don't think that's what you're saying. I don't think we should recommend the public service employees union because we don't know what that dollar value is right now. And so the motion should say something like finance committee recommends <clears throat> the Massachusetts Coalition of Police Appropriation. Appropriation to the Massachusetts Coalition of Police. It's okay, I don't have any charge of my computer. So I can see. Oh, I can't yeah, right. save my life here. <laughs> so, do you have the warrant, uh, the motion that's gonna be made under this article? <laughs> Right now, I have the I have I'm getting to that motion. I'm we're, I'm literally so doing the we, we don't we don't have the actual. Allie, would you no, you should have I'm the okay, I'm almost done. So <laughs> we we can take that vote. You can take that vote at town meeting. At town or before town meeting. You so, just, so right. So I usually post for you guys for like six thirty, mm -hmm. fifteen, something like that. So the town meeting is at what seven? Mm -hmm. Seven. You want to post it for six, just to cover our tail. That's kind of early. We'll be setting up at six. So oh. no, that. What do we think? We'll have we'll have to discuss if they settle. We'll have to discuss that line item. Actually, we won't because there's funding in it there's to cover them. Just leave it be. So we'd only have to discuss this one. So there's a motion that that will be read on the town meeting floor. That's what we will. Recommend. That's what he's concerned about. That's what we Right now, I anticipate the motion to simply be police. I would be happy to wait this. and vote this. Well, that would we just do them together. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, I'll with, that sounds okay. I'm fine with that too, and we'll just do it last okay. time. Okay. Um, I'll withdraw my motion. Excellent. All right. So, Article 10 Sewer Wastewater Treatment Plant Enterprise Fund. <coughs> we have a motion to recommend this. I'm, I'll make a motion to recommend Article 10. We have a second. So. I'll second that. Um, any discussion? So this is just everything we voted this evening to yes. do with the sewer waste. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Any discussion? <clears throat> no. Alice and Mayor Valden? Aye. So what is it that we're voting on this one? This is the enterprise fund? This yeah. is to see if the, the town will raise an appropriate. Okay. Yeah. So I'm voting no. Okay. John Preston? Yes. Julie Chalfin, aye. Beth Brown? Aye. That passes 410. And now we've voted every article except for number nine, which we will revisit um, at our next meeting. Did we vote? You, the... didn't, you didn't vote um, article 17 for the community oh. preservation fund. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. That's why I brought you the Oh, 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 17. Yes. That's really the digestion of the motions. The motions, yeah, this is a <coughs> summary. That's the summary. Uh, there, that is the appropriation. Some, some of the grammar school rehabilitation and some of the town common rehabilitation and restoration project. Both of those 
have some funds coming out of the undesignated fund balance. The motion to discount funds. And I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, these are the balances. Okay, got it, got it. And so the balances did make it into this. I just didn't have time to pull everything apart and make that summary and get it posted. What summary? So the summary that you see that says article that says 17, that's the summary. I tried to get that into the warrant, but I didn't have time to pull the motion apart and revise it into a summary on Friday. But these are the right numbers, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. I, I re-verified them. Uh, <clears throat> For fifteen thousand, is it okay to ask questions? Let's let's move it and then we'll discuss it. Somebody want to move Article Seventeen? I'll make a motion to approve Article Seventeen. We have a second. A second. second. Okay, go ahead, Ellen. You go. All right, go for it. Uh, the I, what's the appropriation? Is that appropriation from like the general fund, or is that appropriation within the CPA fund itself? And does the CPA fund have their own reserve? Is that what that 13,000 is? The 13,000? Yeah, it says transfer so, to reserve. So the 13,000, okay. So each reserve in within the CPA requires a 10% amount. Okay, Matt, let me back that up. When you estimate a budget for CPA, 10% of that budget has to be appropriated to each of those three categories. Okay. With the um, historical category, you're using all of that and then some. With the um, uh, mm. the open space, you're using all of that and then some. So with the senior housing, you're asking for 30,000 in a project. So the remainder of that 10% is the 13,000 and that's what has to go into the reserve to make the total 10%. Does, did that make sense? Good, okay. I have one more question. The undesignated fund balance, is that a large amount of money was uh, designated to be used for the North Main Street Park? Right, so that is- Is that, this after yes. the park? So that's what's left. Yep, because okay. your entire park project is now in a capital projects fund. Okay. So all of the monies allocated to that are out of this one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Any further discussion? So I- and we haven't seen the uh, anyone from the uh, CPC. Yeah, CPC. I assume they voted these figures. That's that's how I got them. Tim sent them to me. Tim sent the motion. I have to incorporate the motion from the side. I went over them yesterday, and I did notice that there's a reference that had to be made so i made a change to, that, to this but essentially they have voted everybody to move forward with their motion i think there's going to be at least one change so we have to reference the map and lot for the um, apr which is not referenced in the Oh, this guy. So. Is this agree? So, just want to make sure they agree.
You're looking for them on the capital projects. Yeah, I just want to make sure they agree. That's all. Yeah. So I will. And they do. Brenda, they don't. Thank there you. There was a point where I didn't realize they could reduce oh. funds, and that was the senior ad hoc, ad hoc senior housing committee reduced it from eighty thousand to forty-five thousand, and then down to thirty thousand. And I didn't get that right away, so it may not be reflected on your last. No, I think it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah it says thirty thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, if I remember, it came in right. Right, we changed it at the last minute. Yep. Any further questions? Are they ready to vote this? Are we voting these individually or? I was it planning to? We vote the we vote. I think the, the motion article, is right? for the whole article. Do you want to vote them individually? What's the dollar amount of the whole article? Oh, I can't remember. I, um, Here we go. I'll get it. John's already got a question. 866-8. That sounds right. I thought it was 800 and some thousand. 866-8, yep. That's all those requests added? Is that? Yes. Um, no, it's 894,800. Because of the, because of the 28. Pardon? Because of the, uh, revenue appropriations. Well, yeah, the, all of the appropriations are, they include the project requests as well as the amounts going yeah. into the reserve okay. and the amount going to the, uh, administrative expenses. Okay. Who's the 894 for? 894 eight. Got it. That's all of the requests, all of the appropriations. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Oops, well, it was starting to fade off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to vote each one of the budgets? I would prefer, actually, I prefer to vote each one, but I don't know what it's going to, how is it going to be handled? If, so they're, they're going to be separate motions. They'll be, so they are separate motions, the way they're framed. I would, I would want a single recommendation. No, no, no. If you guys want to do a separate recommendation, that's fine. It just means that I have to separate everything out like right. individually with spacing in the motions to identify. Let's go through and do them each individually. And if we vote for all of them, then you can just put one no, line item. One line. Is that okay? That's fine. fine. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs> all right. So there. Well, because then we have to keep track of both things. She didn't have a poor There's all right. Like, so there's like the time when I lose it. <laughs> So we need a motion for the old grammar school rehabilitation at 475,000. So moved. We have a second. I will second that. Casey didn't have the motion, did you? Yeah. So this is for, this is a two phase thing. This is for phase one of the old grammar school rehabilitation. What phase one does, I'm going off of memory, is hire an OPM, an owner's project manager, who is the town's representative in the whole process. It writes the, who will help us write the RFP for an architectural firm who will then do um, like coming up with the plan and do sort of rough drawings and then refine those drawings. It includes the work required to come up with the initial set of drawings. So if there's any like survey or um, testing within the building or anything like that, um, it, it goes through that and it has some money in it for detailed drawings. Um, anything else? 
Didn't we already vote these as part of the capital projects vote? Mm -hmm. Oh, we did. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Okay, so you guys know what it is. The bigger ones, yes. Right. The bigger ones, yeah. Yep. The land one, they had to go common. The only one we did, you guys didn't vote, I don't think. Was the $800. Memorial Association, so we thought that was about And then the two appropriations down below the reserve right. and right. the administrative expenses. Yeah. All right. Any questions on the old grammar school? No. Um, Allison Vandenbaum? Aye. Skip Olmstead? No. Um, John Presky? Aye. Julie Chalfin? Aye. Beth Brown? I think I'm going to abstain from all of these because I don't have the table that you guys are looking at. Oh, okay. Let's scan it in for you. I think Casey's going to show you that. Majority, so yeah. that's a three zero three one one. Um, to make a motion to approve the API contribution from the Community Preservation Fund for eleven thousand dollars for the process. Do you have a second? Thanks. Okay. okay. Um, um, do we need to talk? Does this everybody is, know what this, this is? This isn't different from what the conversation at PIPC. Yeah. Right. And I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I mean, I don't need to talk about it. All right. Any discussion on this item? Sorry, that. <laughs> We're getting there. No. Okay. Allison Mandelman? Aye. Skip Olmstead? Aye. John Presky? Aye. Julie Chalfant? Aye. <laughs> Beth Brown? We're on that $11,000 I just shared my screen so Beth can see things. Okay, I see it. Um, I. All right, so that passes five zero zero. Um, Make a motion to approve the community preservation fund uh, monies of three hundred fifty thousand for the town of common rehab and restoration project. Second. Second. Allie. Any discussion? No. Allison Mandelbaum? Uh, aye. This is not, this is also not different, right? This is... Right. This is the same as we voted at the um, CIPC. Yeah. Skip Olmstead. No. Um, John. Aye. Julie Chalpin, aye. Beth Brown? I'm going to abstain from this one. Okay. So that is three, one, one. Ad hoc senior housing. I have a question. Yeah. Um, it was, how's it going to be voted in the town meeting? Is this going to be, a, a oh, people be going to vote each item? Yep, there'll be separate separate motions. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. I'll make a motion to approve the 30,000 to subsidize senior housing feasibility study. Second. Any discussion? No. Allison Mandelbaum? Aye. Skip Olmstead? Aye. John Preston? Aye. Julie Chalfant? Aye. Beth Brown? Aye. That passes 500. Zero, zero. Any motion for the preservation of the books? So moved. Do a second? I'll second that. Any discussion? I guess there's not much. It's a small amount of money. In I just don't know anything about it. Sounds like we're preserving some I did some listening. Books. Yeah, they're preserving some books. Okay. Um, there was a lot of PVMA came forward. They have these books. They want to preserve them. It does not include digitization because I think these funds cannot be used for digitization. So it's actual preservation of the real book. I think that's my memory of their presentation of it. So. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Are you saying that? Yeah. Oh. All right. Any discussion? Allison Mirabel. Aye. Skip Olmstead. Olmstead. John Preston. Aye. Julie Chalfin. Aye. Beth Brown. Aye. That's four zero one. That passes. So we have a um, transfer to the reserve of thirteen thousand for community preservation. 
community housing? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Allison Vanderbilt? Aye. Skip aye. Armstead. John Preske? Aye. Julie Chalfin? Aye. Beth Brown? Aye. Aye. Zero is zero. How about community preservation administrative expenses at 15000 So moved. Second. Any discussion? Allison Vanderbilt? Aye. Skip Olmstead? Aye. John Pareski? Aye. Julie Chalfin? Aye. Beth Brown? Aye. Five zero zero. So we've recorded our individual votes on e each of these, but they all passed. So I'll make the motion that the Article 17 Community Preservation Fund say recommended by Finance Committee. Second. That motion has already been already made. made. By John You're right. By John, seconded, seconded by, by you. Julie. So we're back to our motion that was originally on. So at the town meeting, we're, if they're going to vote these separately, then you get recommendations on all of them individually. We do. Right. You do, you do, but it takes up more space because you'd have to put, if you wanted to put recommendations on each of those, it would take up more space. Or you could just say, the the finance committee as a whole recommends article 17. fine for me to just say recommended for the whole thing because we we recommend each one so i think it will be that i think it will be clearer for people but I, again if we do each one no i i mean i think like, like we just are yeah just making it simple and we talked about them and voted them we have records that we voted them Okay, I'm at, I don't care. I'm at, a, I'm at a one on this one. Any further discussion? No. Allison Vanderbilt? Aye. Skip Olmsted. What do we vote? The whole We're article. voting the whole article. We had a motion already on the table to vote the whole article. Okay. Yes. Julie Chalfin, aye. Beth Brown? Aye. So that passes four one zero. So that's all of the articles in the warrant, right? Yeah. So the next item on the agenda is this FY23 budget overview. I think everybody has a copy of it that is sent out in advance. Um, I think what we'll look for is just a motion to print this whole thing as part of the handout at town meeting. What do you call that? As part of the guide. The guide. The guide. So I'll just make that motion. Casey, did you steal my pen? I stole your pen. <laughs> Does that need to be a motion? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess what I would like I, I think if I would like to make it a motion because then we can say that this is the opinion of the finance committee. Okay, so we're we're, we're not voting to approve the guide. We're voting to approve, approve this. this. Yeah, okay. that we approve of, of no, this work. Right. <laughs> I strongly approve of this work. Okay. I think this is great work. I'll make a motion <laughs> to uh, make a motion to recommend to uh, make a motion that the finance committee approve approves of this presentation of budget overview. I'll second that. So Brenda, you had a, a suggestion. Yeah. Um, could you give me a copy of that? Because for some reason I don't have mine. Um, you gave it to me. Thank you. Uh, the line item where it talks about the treasurer, collector, and town clerk yes. positions. Um, Next to last page, first item. Yeah, the town intends to split this into two positions with a full-time treasurer, collector, and a part-time town clerk due to the increase in workload from two main causes. Um, first, a rise in the number and complexity of public record requests, and second, an increase in the number of grants. Well, the grants really have nothing. I don't think the grants really have anything. The grants didn't do that. Don't have anything to do with it. It's just the the 
complexity of the positions themselves over the over the last 20 30 years is has has is it reporting requirements what's that reporting statutory requirements statutory requirements statutory due to the increase in complexity of statutory you didn't skip right <laughs> oh is it one of those ants it is not they they lay, like come out of the ceiling and they drop on you. Um, I just think you were having like yeah, a disgusting. Moment. I have I one on my arm. <laughs> and like from the um, <laughs> but also, also the positions are <laughs> so different in their responsibilities. Uh, responsibilities, you know, requires a different talent to do a treasurer collector position than it does a town clerk and and certification is and, a lot more complex for treasurer collectors. And amazingly enough, Barb could do it, but it's not very often that you have somebody that has a brain for a town clerk that does well with the treasurer collector and vice versa. She probably evolved into that role as yes. Yes. Did, yeah. So that's the We've that's had several of those people. Well, it was contemplated to make this change back when Mary retired in 2013. Mm -hmm. This was contemplated. Um, it, it wasn't followed through on. It's a very complex process. And I don't know all of the reasoning because I wasn't involved in it, but it, it just in the last eight to 10 years, the amount of work and the, and the complexity of the work has increased dramatically for both different types of jobs. And one's very financially centric and the other has some financial elements, but it's much more um, related to elections and vital statistics and record keeping and you know maintaining certain information. Certainly through the Massachusetts Secretary of State's office and other sources. Where you have connectivity with DLS and the Treasury and the collection. Division work is pretty good. Yeah, so I, I had intended to come with wording for you, and it didn't happen, Julie. So I apologize that I didn't have something for you to replace that with. But How about first a rise in the number and complexity of public record requests and second, an increase in the complexity of statutory requirements over the years? Yes, I think that covers yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say public records. I think vital statistics and well, public being directly public, to town clerk. Right, with the public record request, because right to now your office, office and this office both handle them, and that really should be handled by the town clerk. Yes. But they do have elements of finalization. You're right. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Walk that one back. Okay. Any other corrections? So there will be very small number corrections based on what we just voted tonight. Right. right. That was I wonder if you want to include police payroll as a line item on this. Sixty one thousand oh. dollar change so increase. Or, I mean, you're going to see it too when we're going over the omnibus budget. Yeah, they'll but... see it going on. Really, she's taking the sections. The way I read it, she's taking each one of the sections okay. of the budget. So, in this regard, it's one of those that is that is not um, a result of changing change in level, in, of in level of service. Right. It will go on the second page, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, police payroll. Increased what due to contract negotiations? Correct. Due to contract negotiations. And what's the dollar value on that? Anybody have it in? Uh, Sixty-one thousand three fifty-seven. So, what you go do? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
I just look at my report. <laughs> Count salary. Yeah, <clears throat> oh, they'll see it also. So, so maybe we don't, I don't know. I was going to say you could go through and you could, uh, well, I guess she's, she's already talked about contracting services. Um, hmm. What if I lump all of the contract negotiations into one line item? Lease payroll, accountant, um, highway, select board. That makes sense. And come up with a dollar value there for all that the reflects payroll. all of those payroll. contract negotiations. Yeah. yeah. And put them all into one under not a result in changes of level of service. Makes sense. So where are you going to put the On second the back page, page? The back page. Okay. okay. And it will say. Payroll increases due to contract negotiations. Sounds good to me. And I will add those up and come up with a dollar value. Does that include Casey's? It will. Okay. So it will be police, accountant. I don't mind. Highway. Add. What the heck is your job? <laughs> Town admin, thank you. Hey, at least you can remember that. I can't remember my own name someday. Well, we're sitting here going around, and I'm like, I just said your name 400 times. I can't make it to my mouth. And there's one more. Please count <laughs> highway to town. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there were two police. There's the police chief. Yes. Please, right. the count and highway and town. Okay. Any other recommended changes to this? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I'm just gonna yeah, you, do the you, numbers. I'll give them to Brenda to check, and then we'll send yeah. them to did you. Did you say I'll you're gonna I'll include that? Tonight. I'll update that spreadsheet before I leave tonight and send it to you. Julie. You're gonna include the highway department in that number? I guess I'll put the so we don't ten thousand that we put in, yeah. right? Yeah, that's a can of worms are opening up, though. Well, it'll be all well, I'm not gonna talk, it'll be all lumped together. It's, it's right? in here, yeah. yeah in but here. what if somebody says, Okay, how much is payroll? How much is police? How much is highway? You know, I have an answer for that. It, Highway's not negotiated it's, it's, yet, and there's a it'll be voted okay, so it's yeah. voted in there. all right, I don't know. make something up. On time. Okay, any other questions or discussion? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah, I yeah. guess I don't understand. I think you did a great job with this. I don't understand the last paragraph on the overview about the federal grant funds to support capital expenditures. So they used ARPA money to cover the highway excavator, the mini excavator, the, I don't remember what else was ARPA. HVAC. She's got, she's got a great table, table that she's gonna share tomorrow night of the items that have been voted Maybe should maybe should say it's a one-time one grant time. funding, yeah, yeah. as opposed to because I thought it was going to be routine. Grant funds. Yes, well, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. One time. That's exactly what I was trying to elucidate. Was saying yeah. that yeah. we totally support using those funds to do this. Just recognize that now that we've done that, it's not. We're not going to do it again. Sorry. It's not that. It's not baked into our. Mm -hmm. Um, funding. So next year, when we come to do capital, our two and a half percent increase won't help us any because right. that money won't be there to recognize. It's, it's a non-recurring funding source. So that's why what was needed for projects that are 
one time that thing. are non recurring. Right. Yeah. Right. So what I did was I put a table together and remember how we have three uh, three articles we're passing over in the article for 22 capital projects. I put a note in it and I said these are the projects that came through the process that were voted through our book and I identified and noted that there was a lot of discussion amongst you all the capital improvement grant that was available. And you did. You did that, was that, which was good. It helped us find it. We'll find it. Julie, this just the, that same sentence. I I was kind of trip, tripping over it too when I was reading it earlier. And when you're saying it potentially alters the balance between routine expenses and capital investments for future budgets, what you're trying to say there is that this is one-time funding funding things that will the type of thing that will come up again, right? Is that what you're trying to say between that? So that balance. Oh, um, <laughs> you're right. It's not very well articulated. What I'm trying to say is that we're not going to buy another mini excavator. No, but we'll have we're another do it, But then. something else. We should be spending some portion of our available funds on capital stuff to keep us going. And the fact that we've used this one-time federal grant to cover our capital stuff this year means next year when we want to have that same sort of ratio between routine ex expenditures on the bus budget and one-time things. When we do our two and a half percent increase, it's all going to go to the omnibus budget and we're not going to have any left over. We're not going to be able to get capital. So what about, so I'm like thinking about how to translate that and kind of make this bullet point more clear. Um, and I'm just wordsmithing, so you, I'm not attached to any of this, but the, the use of the one-time federal grant funds to support capital expenditures, while an excellent use of the fund, potentially creates the illusion that we have more ongoing capital funding than we do, or something like that. Like the issue is that it looks this year it looks like, like we have more resources. Yeah, right, but because these are non-recurring resources, the demands for capital expenses will, will persist. So what started out as an art articulate statement is no longer. <laughs> well, thank you. I think it's in there. The other thing that I might add was where you say routine expenses, I might change that to routine operating expenses. Um, do what you want, but that was just a suggestion. Splitting operating expenses and capital expenses. But they are capital. It is routine capital expenses that we're talking about. Well, no, it's not. So it's what if we... We're talking about actually... Capital expenses that are substantially higher than we would normally. But we're not. But we're not spending. We don't have more demand for capital projects because of our ARPA money. We just have more money to pay for the, the demand that's, we already have. But that's have. what we're doing. Uh, if you if you add it up, the capital expenses that we're or the money that we're putting into capital. Yeah. And the money that we're putting into operating expenses. Typically, it looks like this yeah. and now it looks like this this one has increased more than this one and right. that's all i guess what i'm trying to clarify is that we're not making any wildly no, like exciting no. purchases we're buying stuff that we really need that we otherwise couldn't fund and next year we're going to something else is going to break right and we're going to need to replace it and we don't have you know <coughs> ongoing federal funds how about this? The use of one-time federal grant funds to support capital expenditures while an excellent use of the funds potentially alters the balance between routine operating expenses and capital investments, period. Thus, funds may not be available in the future to support desired capital expenses. I need that kind of graph. Okay, thanks. Maybe we should give the amount. No. <laughs> I have the table. If you want no, if you want to put it in there, that's fine. I don't want to put it in there. Okay. I just want to get the point across yeah. that okay. the, the balance of our, that's the wrong word. Right. Well, balance and budgets means like a whole thing. That's why I, I yeah. think it's, it's, it's changing. Resources versus, versus yeah. uh, needs are not. Yeah. yeah. The only thing we should make sure we'll make it clear is under operating, we're not using it to augment the payroll. No, that's why I put a table together. Yeah, and it's clear that it's capital expenditures. 
in that hallway. Yeah, but you said operating expenses. So it just, yeah. some people may assume that we're doing something with payroll with that. So I, I think what, I mean, the way I look at it, I think the way it was intended was to compare, we typically spend on capital versus operating. And this year we have that larger expense of capital, which makes, which is what we we're told to do. And I think it only makes sense to have done it. It would be foolhardy to us to have used department funds to cover operating costs or increase our operating costs more than we already did. Yeah. Because we're going to have problems next year with operating costs. But. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we have a motion on the floor to approve this with minor changes as the position of the finance committee on the budget? To be presented publicly for you guys. Yes. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? No, other than say that we spent more time tonight talking about the old light up than we have ever talked about other light up. So Typically they go typically they go through and everybody's just fine. Oh, yeah. Julie did like a nice job, job and gave it to us ahead of time. Yeah. Thanks, Julie. Cheers. All right. House and Vanderbilt. Aye. Aye. Skip Olmstead, John Presky. Aye. Julie Chapman, aye. Beth Brown. Aye. Great. That's unanimous. Um, get the warrant. I did the write up. Tomorrow we have a meeting posted at six in case we all show up to this yes. presentation. Do you need anybody I, to present anything? Unless you wanted to, I it's not gonna be the same without the numbers. I could refer to the fact that the finance committee developed a budget overview that will be presented um, in the guide at the state of as part of tomorrow's intro, but we really go through each article and try to outline details around these articles. Some articles have more details than others, like the evolving funds, the regular evolving funds, just doesn't have an explanation as normal. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know that you need to come. I'd certainly welcome your input if you wanted to share information. Um, but it's really, we're trying to just give an overview of what the budget looks like. Okay. I would be happy enough to make a few slides out of this and present this if you want that. It's up to if you that is you useful. Um, I can do that. Okay. I think that's a probably a good time for the many schools to be trying to finish. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'll pull into you that then. Next week is town meeting. It starts at seven. We're going to meet at. 615. Is that what we decided? Okay. We have one potential. 615 is 615. 615. Okay. So we will post that. Corey, please. I'm always the only one who's there on time, and then I have to wait for like 20 minutes for everybody else to show up. Maybe it's not always. Maybe it was just last year. <laughs> I'll be there. If I'm there at 615, everybody needs to be there at 615. Okay. Otherwise, I'll send it here. Let's show up at six twenty. <laughs> <laughs> what right. the rage of this pregnant lady, Skip? Putting it down. <laughs> six fifteen. Public comment. We have no comment. We have no public. Okay. We're done. I think. So we're going to have to meet after the meeting. For any reason? No. I think we do, right? No. Usually, you meet before, so you can come after to give a. So no, we, just like we open routinely. the meeting and then it just stays. Yes. Oh yeah, we'll have to meet once before the end of the fiscal year to do the yes. transfer. Oh, yeah, or or look at once, but we don't have to schedule that at Not this point. Right? Not now. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll be in. So again, move to adjourn. Second. Alice Mandel. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. Hi. Tom Kreski. Hi. Julie Chalvin. Hi. Beth Brown. Hi. We're adjourned yeah. at 724. Finally got an eye vote out of Skip. <laughs> Finally got an eye vote out of you. <laughs> <laughs>